Oh, come on, Jack. Jason Tatum on you. Come on. Come on. What was that? Alright, we got we got the new Alvin Hayes. Come on. He's a Galaxy Opal. That's only Jamal Mashburn. All these bigs. All these bigs. I can't get a rebound. I can't score inside. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. All right, so we have here maybe the answer to our problems, the solution to our rebounding and our post presence. We've got the new, possibly best budget big in the game. Uh, five foot seven. 133 pounds, Spud Webb. Wow. Um, known, of course, for his days playing center in Atlanta. Uh, he's, of course, got all the uh, the insides. Well, okay, so his post game's not going to be great, but, you know, he has the, the dunking and the tendencies and the speed. Oh, my God, for a center, he's got all the stuff you're going to want there. His dunk tendencies are phenomenal. All right, so he's going to be a low post threat. So uh, we're not going to dance around it, we're just going to get straight into the first game. So let's see the line of the project here. Okay, Derek Rose, okay, good card, play Thompson, play good card. Alright, so we're only giving up height at one position, and that is Zadrunas Ogowskis. And he only has a, he only has a 20 inch advantage on Spud Webb. So let's see if we can win the tip. We win the tip, and we're lagging. Because the world can't comprehend what just happened. But Spud Webb wins the tip. And he draws the foul. Have we found the answer? Is Spud Webb the answer? I mean, there you have it, guys. Like, that's. But he's not guarding Spud Webb. Spud Webb is a center who can stretch the floor. Yep, see, they're trying to force it into, into Big Z, and Spud's going to make him pay. Spud's going to make him pay! That's our starting center, jacking up threes in transition. Yep. Yeah, he gets him dancing. He gets him dancing. And Spud Webb goes to the rim. We tie this game up. Spud scored all of our points. He gets the quick inbound steal. The dog's throwing up, kind of weird. Spud Webb, you know what, we haven't greened him yet, and he's got a couple threes to his name. He's four for eight, has a little inbound steal, he's playing well, he's playing well, this guy's nervous. You know? But he pulls up for a three again, and it's a 17-16 point game, and I don't know if, if you guys have noticed, but Spud Webb, you know, carrying this offense right now. You know, he's really, he's really relying on this Ogowskis card. But Spud Webb comes down and pulls up another transition three. See, now he's now he's trying to, to guard Dennis. 
the Bogowskis, and that's just a bad idea for as you guys know. Dennis Rodman is a knockdown piece of shooter. Spud Webb gets the dunk off the inbound. He catches the lob. See, you can't put a point guard on someone like Spud Webb. Yep, we're gonna get Spud. Spud Webb drives in. Okay, he finds Hito. Oh. Oh, okay. Now look, if you're boxed out, just be boxed out, okay? There's no need, there's no need for violence. Spud going in and throwing it down. Going in, and you know what? Spud Webb finishes over top of Carmelo Anthony. Alright, for a big man, you know, post presence wasn't there for what you want uh, necessarily. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna try one more game. Uh, so we got Spud Webb on Tim Duncan. We're gonna see what he can do. So far, we're three for four on tip offs. Ah, all right, we lose that one. He's, uh, he's off balling Spud Webb already. He knows, but that's you know that's the problem. And Spud Webb goes in for the jam. Let's go. He's got five points. We are winning this matchup right now. See, yep. So we're gonna draw the other foul there. What he does is he applies pressure on the defense. As you can see, he's averaging 29 a game. Spud Webb with another pull-up three. Spud Webb drives in and throws it down. Joel Embiid, I get it. You know, he's frustrated. Uh, he came in to replace Tim. And we got Spud Webb coming down for the big oop. You know, he's playing a little defense. Spud with the big three. Big shot from Spud. We'll do one too. Spud Webb greens his first three finally. He's got 28 and the game is tied up at 58. Spud Webb gets into the dunk. That's his 30th point. We're only down three. Oh, I shouldn't be pressing with my center. All right, so in the end, Spud Webb goes 11 for 21, four of six from three. He's got 30 points, unable to grab a rebound, two assists, two steals. All right, so to, to close it off, you know what, the Spud Webb, uh, <laughs> this card's terrible. This card is so bad. Um, even at even at point guard, like 5'7", he's too small. Uh, his release is slow. He's only got an 86-3. Um, even with quick draw, his release is really, really slow. Uh, you know, quick first step, like, for being 5'7", you'd think he'd feel fast. Um, Okay, I was gonna say, I, I thought at least he'd have gold rain extender. He's, he's terrible. He's so bad. Yes, for the fun of it, you can score some points, but I mean, if you're trying to play a game in any serious fashion, this card is absolutely garbage. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. I think everyone knew going into this video that this was not going to be a good card, but uh, I, I wanted to do it just for the fun of it. Um, I wish they'd, they'd given him, like, some better tendency, like, because of his height, he literally can't contest shots, so even if you play everything perfectly in the post and you're, you're trying to, you know, be cheeky with it, he's not gonna do anything. Uh, like, legitimately, he's, he's, he's terrible. Even with 99 speed and quick first step, he feels terribly slow. Um, yeah, just overall a garbage card. So do not buy it. Um, it can't play either of its positions. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. But thanks for watching. Hopefully you laughed a little bit. Uh, if not, you know, whatever, I'm an idiot. So let me know about it in the comments. But thanks and uh, have a good one. And uh, you know, I might have to I might have to start my my quest for a, another center somewhere else. So thanks for watching.